You know what time it is? Whoa, welcome everyone. Tonight is a night. Today we have a great, great show planned. We got Karen Ashley in the house live today. We are going to have a great time. We're going to ask her questions. Power Rangers once and always. Ranger Stop is coming up, which is a big deal as well. But I want to highlight a few people that are already in the chat before we even started. We got Ranger Restoration Repair. We got Astronaut Ranger saying Thomas Franco, Matt Napier, Rolando's in the house, always in the house. I appreciate you. We got LeBron Fett, Thomas Franco, and we're going to start bringing in our panel here. First on our panel, you guys know him as the fan club. Uh, he's a Power Rangers channel. He's a He's a rapper. He does all the, he's a DJ. He does all the above. We got Dan the man. How are you doing, my friend? What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for having me. Yo, the fans out there in the chat, you guys are in for a treat, man. I can't wait for this episode. Awesome. Next, we got from the Countdown City Geeks, Retro Ray. How are you doing? What's going on, guys? How's it going? Up, Ray? Good, good man. On, you got your geek cast. Uh, new artwork in the background. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna have to remove everyone for a second because I got the layout wrong. So I am going <laughs> to bring you guys back in because I want to highlight our guest of the hour, Aisha Campbell herself, Karen Ashley. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I, thank you How so are you much, guys. <laughs> of oh course, my. thank you. Oh my god, the chat's already bumping. Excited that you guys you're here. I saw someone. Can Karen just be a regular from the show now? On? Hey, yeah. <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Yes. So I like. So obviously, we had you on the very the very first time. It was about God. What was it? March. It was a month yeah. before. Once and always came on. Yes. Uh, Retro Ray was here. Uh, Dan had just discovered who I was at that point. He was like, "Who's that interviewing that legend over there?" 
And <laughs> for we, real, you you gave us a bombshell. You gave us a good like center of the universe moment. You guys, you were like, once and always trailer will be out in two days, and we were yeah. like, oh my god, we got yeah. the scoop. And I was like, and then it came out that day. <laughs> I read my email wrong. <laughs> Leave it up to me. <laughs> so uh, me, me and Ted were talking, uh, you know, he's our, our boss at Countdown City Geeks. And we were like, we were the center of the universe for eight seconds. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Leave it was it really me. cool. I mean, literally, you, you signed off because you had a very important thing to go to. And yeah. then I got a message from one of our viewers and they were like, you need to check Netflix Netflix's and Facebook right now. And I was right. like, what are you talking about? And he's like, the trailer's up. I was like, no, Karen just said it was me in two days. And it can't be up. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it was so, so cool. We got our first kind of look at that time at Once and Always. Uh, of course, since then, Once and Always has come out. What has been the, your, uh, I guess, what was your reaction to finally seeing it air and seeing that the buildup was just amazing? Like, it was yeah. one of the most viewed trailers of yeah. all time for, I guess they called it episodic. Uh, yeah. show uh what, what did you think about that you know what i i knew it would make your power ranger hearts explode um i think at that point i had seen it like we had seen it okay. uh, and had but we couldn't talk about it um i knew it was very sentimental it was like the love letter to trini that she'd been needing to have you know tweet train uh, we lost her uh, gosh, early 2000s, and it, mm -hmm. they should have done a, an episode. They should have done an episode then, you know. Yeah. But you know what? A beautiful way to celebrate 30 years. And unfortunately, um, we lost Jason unexpectedly. We didn't know at that time. I don't think we knew then. Yeah. Um, and so we knew that it was um, there was going to be. I don't know. It was just. It, it it ended up being this emotional thing even for us like we didn't yeah. know about the um the ending we knew that there was going to be a memorial or something at the end that jason was going to get you know some sort of uh, moment so we didn't know until we saw it and then we were it, it was us the whole cast we were in a, a theater at netflix and it was just us and some producers and we were all like oh my okay. god you know so it was um uh, very very you know touching and very um I don't know. It, it's just sentimental, you know. It's such a beautiful episode, you know. Yeah. I, I the only thing I wanted was me and me and Johnny wanted more screen time. We wanted, yes. to, we wanted to be a part of the battle. We were in New Zealand. We were like, put me in, coach. Put right. me in. I'm here, <laughs> you know. But we knew what it was about. We knew it was a you know an episode for the the OGs, and we knew that it was a love letter to her. And I I I told you guys when I was on the show last, I fought because I was like. I was in her costume. I should be a part of this love letter. I want to be a part yeah. of it. Bad. So I was happy to be there. And I thought it turned out beautifully. I, I, I mean, it, seeing it now, like, you know, everything that's come to fruition about it is just, it's incredible how, how people were so quickly like, I missed Power Rangers. And, you know, yeah. fans like me and Dan and Retro, you know, we've been around for it for, for many, for 30 years, honestly. Like, yeah, uh, you know, we've been around it, but it was good to see me and Dan talked about this specifically, but it was good to see so many fans come back and, and, and relive their, their love for it. And yeah. not only that, but find out like it's still on and, you know, there's still, <laughs> and there's still little ones that enjoy Power Rangers and stuff like that. So I know yeah. I've got a lot of comments and messages like, you know, my kids are watching it and they love it. And it was such a cool moment. Um, and I know for you, you know, I know I'm already getting a lot of like people like when we talk about what could future things about, it's always SPA. What is SPA right. doing? Like, <laughs> right. uh, real quick, we got Thomas Franco in the chat. Uh, he says, Karen, how was like coming back to once and always? And he, she says hyperforce. Or he says yes. Oh, yeah. I did Hyperforce quite a few years ago. Um, no, it was beautiful. Like I said, we yeah. we actually got to all go to New Zealand. And I mean, we literally were like, OK, guys, we're on set together. This is cool. Like we actually had a moment where we stopped and smelled the roses and we had That's so awesome. much fun. And we just you know, we really have always wanted to work together. And it was just a great moment for that to happen. And like I said, it was just nothing but love. Like we yeah. we literally came in town and 
we we shot our, our different pieces and we did a lot of promo stuff for them and they had a wrap dinner like we all went to dinner after we were done like the day before we were flying out and you know it was it was beautiful to to just be together on set it was beautiful to have charlie there with us and just meet her she's just this amazingly talented actress martial artist i mean you guys saw her she's yeah. like lethal and she's like a singer and she's just her and her family are just beautiful people so I always love it when we get new rangers. And so for me, I just was like, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> we went to Hobbiton, me and Kat and Johnny. I was wondering. Away. Yeah, we totally went to Hobbiton one day. And I mean, it was just a really cool couple weeks that we were all in, in New Zealand. So now, it, was, uh, it was awesome. I have one question before we hand the next question off to Dan. But what uh, I heard they filmed this like in 12 days. Or something like that? No, it was actually like a month. Like okay, it, it was, was yeah, it was like it took them. I, I think, you know, the longest people were there were like four weeks. But um, yeah. Okay. And um Johnny and I were there for like two weeks. So it was just okay. it was yeah, it took it took time. They took their time with it and they spent they were like they spent more money on this movie, the special, than they even spent on a whole series for a okay. season. So we knew that they felt like this is special. We got to do it. It's 30 years. I mean, obviously, um, you know, they had asked every, I think every Mighty Morphin Ranger had been asked, you know, and, and the people who wanted to be a part of it were there. Um, and it was just a really great experience. Like they restored my love. Like the last time I was on the show, it was not good. I obviously left the show, but the crew that's there in New Zealand now, the Hasbro crew, they're amazing. And, um, the cool part was though that the 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 Dino Fury cast were they were arriving when we were finishing, so we actually snuck away another night and and all went bowling and you know so they were on set getting fittings while we were filming and they were like oh my god like they didn't know we were there and so when we were really? like texting them yeah they had no clue they were like what are you guys doing here and we're like we can't say but we're here and they're like oh my god so they obviously <laughs> figured out we were shooting something but yeah it was very very cool. That's awesome. Dan? So I just got to follow up to that. So are you telling me that Hasbro is finally treating the actors well? Are we finally <laughs> like actually showing love to the legends that kind of paved the way for the next Rangers? Is that, they, is that what's going down? They actually showed us love. I mean, they were good to us, you know, on every level, every. It uh, was done um, perfectly and they were wonderful. And like I said, it was a really great experience. And I, I mean, honestly, the Netflix, I don't think they thought that it would be as popular as it was. But when we hit number three in the whole world, they were like, we were getting emails from all of them and they were like, oh my gosh, congratulations guys. And, and even when we, we had like a, um, a, a, a meet and greet right before um, the the actual day that it came out. And I think it was on a Monday, you know, and we all went to the Grove here in Los Angeles. And that's kind of like where they do live events. And you've seen celebrities there. And I mean, there was a line wrapped around the Grove and they were like, uh, we scheduled this for an hour. Can you stay longer? <laughs> we were That's like, awesome. we kept telling them, we're like, you guys don't understand the Power Ranger fandom. Did y'all you know, shut down I, LA again? We we didn't quite shut it down, <laughs> oh, but we, it was close. We were like, we were there for six hours as opposed to one hour. So, awesome. um, yeah, so it was just great. And I think Netflix has finally realized that Mighty Morphin is very popular. You guys you know, if, if it's done nothing, I think they've realized that you guys would like, you know, like maybe not a new season of, you know, new cast, new members or new characters, maybe a season of us. Like we've been telling yeah, them this sure. for years. We were like, we would love a season or or even if you brought back people from other seasons that you love, you know, they could. I, I try to I try to pitch the SPA thing. I was like, look, thank Guardians of the Galaxy meets Power Rangers. That's SPA. And they yeah. were like interesting i go yeah. who do i need to talk to <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing so on, yes no we have it. to like we have to riot i and i literally was like think about it you could pick you know one or two people from each popular season and we could have the you know space patrol alpha this and then it leads into spd like we just we we make it happen yes. and so we me and johnny were pitching the hell out of that i don't know if they listened <laughs> I don't know. I feel like <laughs> I feel like someone's listening for sure. Please <clears throat> listen. <laughs> right. Before I go to retro, I just want to highlight Wanda Santana wanted to make sure she said, "Hey, Karen." Hi, Wanda. <laughs> retro, you got a question? 
Yeah, so technically with the new comic that is doing so well with Boom. Ah, oh, amazing. And, yeah, and the story arc that it's going, the way it's going, there's so much they can do, especially with, you know, you guys, like, of course, mentioning, of course, spoilers if anybody hasn't watched it yet. You know, Catherine and Jason, our Tommy had a kid. Yeah. So there's they were talking potential. about him the whole episode. <laughs> yeah. So well, you mean you guys could all have kids and they could all be passing on the legacy. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? That could all be a story right there in itself. But yeah, I know, agree. I agree. I mean, obviously, Trini has a daughter. Jason and Kat have a, a son. Like, this is, like, they've got everything they need. Um, yeah. And they could introduce new characters as well. I would love it. I would love if there was a, a season where, you know, you have the OGs and then you, you know, introduce a new cast and we kind of do the season together and we're mentors or we're part of the team. Because, exactly. I mean, you know, usually they go through things and they would need, you know, we, we would kind of be the Zordons of the group. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> We would be like, we've been there, done that. It's been 30 years, you know. Let, let me give you some advice. I don't know. I think it could work. I mean, they're so, like you said, the Boom series just opened the door to there's no rules to this. Yeah. You can bring all of them together in the most creative ways. And and I think also what Once and Always opened the door to is that it was an edgier subject matter. Like, it was yeah. – edgier and it's it was number three in the world so it's like they our fans want an edgier show so and, and they said it when we were filming they go we're testing the waters with this show because it's an edgier version of power rangers and so i think they realized it works so yeah i don't know what the future holds but you know hey <laughs> call I, me. I do i do have a question regarding <laughs> that we got nathan e saying boogie woogie boogie woogie with the bear, great Bear, great job. Can't I even get that it. out, man. Right. Yeah, that's a tongue <laughs> to say that 10 times fast. <laughs> so we, we've heard rumors that Netflix is very pleased with mm -hmm. how the numbers were, even leading up into Once and Always. Have you yeah. heard anything more official or just kind of the same things we heard? We haven't heard anything official. Like all they've said was they did not anticipate it being this popular and they they also said you know none of this none of the shows have been this popular so i know we've got their attention so what i suggest to the fans if you guys sure. need to like be on everything and you need to be specific with what you see and what you want because i think they now's the time that they'd actually take listen to you guys and take it serious i mean you guys showed up for this thing so you know i i told them i said we gotta we gotta pound it over their head <laughs> yeah. but no okay. we haven't heard anything official okay. we just know that they're very happy and they were so surprised as to how um how big this was you know and i don't it's think almost they like thought it, it would fail but you know yeah like why we're not surprised like we know right we've been <laughs> saying, <laughs> i've been saying for at least 20 years like if you ever got the band back together it's gonna you know, it's going to explode. And and I think they liked, you know, you guys like that other people were, you know, leading the charge. I thought it yeah. was great to see, you know, Walter and David like stepping up. I mean, it was like, oh, my God, it was such a cool thing to see. Awesome. Wanda wanted to make sure she sends her blessings. Thank you. <laughs> Dan, do you got a question? Yes. With all of the success that Once and Always is getting, Let's just say they call you and say, hey, we got a green light for a part two. We talked about all of the possibilities, but what would you want to see done for your character? Um, I think they planted the seed. Like, I mean, I really want to see what SPA is about. You know, yeah. the minute we read the script, we were like, are we SPD? And it didn't have any description. And they were like, well, no, you can't be SPD because of the timeline. And then the next thing you know, it was SPA. And we were like, oh, <laughs> like we were like excited about that. But I would love to see, you know, multiple teams um saving the world i don't know why that couldn't happen like it's almost like a you know uh what is it a marvel multiverse waiting to happen where you have the team in angel grove you got spa in space you know there's a lot of things that could happen and and you know like retro ray said the comic book has proved that 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 kind of thing is successful it can all happen at the same time and fans would eat it up i love that thank you I think yeah. Retro's getting set up again. Retro, do you have 
Retro, do you have another question for Karen? Yeah, so basically with that, I mean, this is just me going back to the whole thing. <laughs> there could be a, a multiverse. Yes. They could bring the whole thing together in so many ways. Like I said, me being the geek on the comic book side, I mean, reading the comics, it like when I'm reading them, I'm seeing you guys in those characters mm -hmm. and everything that's going on is so, you know, the multiverse, because I mean, DC's doing it, Marvel's doing it. Why yeah. can't the Power Rangers? And it all can touch, you know, it all can come together at some point. Exactly. I, I completely agree. I mean, obviously, all these other teams, like, it hinted to that. You saw when Rita was capturing all these people, these people were Rangers. Like, these were Rangers who were still actively Rangers. So something has been happening. Like, they, you know, we were all at home doing our thing, but, you know, people were also, they could be summoned at any moment. So, yeah. I don't know. I just think sky's the limit. And I think, you know, I think they know that now. So um, I don't know that they thought a, a 30 year old cast could come back and get such <laughs> high ratings, but we were like, watch us, we, watch what we're about to do. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't they look at Cobra Kai, look yep. at yeah. uh, He-Man, uh, just yeah. came back recently. It's a cartoon. I mean, they've proven over and over that if you do it right, you bring something back it will bring back the same audience and then more be get introduced. Yeah. Like how many kids love Cobra Kai now yeah. that never yep. watched the karate kid before what yeah. 2017. So yeah. that, that's just, I mean, it's just crazy well, how like, they don't think all of that those power kids is. have kids. And so now exactly. like, I can't tell you how many people I've been, I've been to like 10 cons since it came out. And so everyone is saying me and my kids sat down and watched it. Yeah. Me and my kids, we watched it. And so it's like the original fan, and the new fan and i mean everyone's excited so i yeah i mean it's like that's the thing it gave you that everyone felt five years old again but it also you know gave you all the things you loved and it was it was new enough and edgy enough to where you know the new fans could enjoy it that's awesome so uh one question we had from our viewer that asked me earlier like last week to ask you was did you get to sneak anything off maybe and, and keep <laughs> as a memento i wish i me and johnny begged and begged for those vests like we were okay. like can we please like nobody's gonna ever wear this again it's come on and, and they said no they were like we got to keep it in case <laughs> in there's case. ever something or you know uh, i guess like the creative department like if they ever decided to do an action figure they have the original stuff to go back to uh -huh. but no we didn't get to we didn't get to keep anything um um, I, I recently had some SPA badges, but we just recreated those off of what we like. I took a picture of it and it was like we recreated off of that. But yeah, no, we didn't get to keep anything. Just memories. And yeah. we all have a script that we all sign for each other, which it goes nice. into my prized possession pile, which I have my original Power Rangers movie script that we all signed. So now I got this movie script. Um, but yeah, no, nothing. We just. You know, <laughs> and just so I, I, we, we should have stole something, right? Again, we, I've missed yeah. my chance. I mean, we, we, hear, we hear all those JDF stories of how, like, right. he's just, just a slippery little guy. He's the he's only got, one who could do that. Like, I think <laughs> yeah. the rest of us would get, like, fined or something. I don't, like, he's the only one who could do something like that. <laughs> oh, so one thing before, did you, I just have a curious question. Did you ever get to keep anything before from, like, the first movie or the first series? No. No. I should have, like, uh. this is the thing, like, a lot of my cast members have stuff, and they yeah. did not tell me when it was still your costume day. <laughs> like, I'm still pissed at that. They know I'm pissed at them for that. Like, it brings up bad memories for me. Oh. Um, but no, I should have, like, I, I should have. Like, there was time. There, Like, I don't know that... I could have, but I didn't. So I don't know. I just always thought, like, if you do it, it's going to be, like, bad. Like, you're going to get fired. <laughs> like, I don't know why I was so innocent. <laughs> Blame it on being naive. Now, now, and then I always said, now I would do it. Then I go back and I don't do it again. So I don't know. <laughs> we did take a lot of pictures. Like, well, yeah. Catherine did. And, like, I told her, whatever pictures you have, send them to me. So Catherine and Charlie's mom were, like, taking tons of pictures and videos. And I just, they, they shared them to a Dropbox. So That's I do awesome. have a lot of like pictures, but awesome. it's all behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> Dan? I've got one more. <laughs> um, you're an OG. You've probably seen and met so many other cast members from Power Rangers. If you could be part of a team that's not Mighty Morphin, 
Which one would Aisha be in? SPD. SPD. Obviously, <laughs> SPD right. might yeah, be like, the one, right? <laughs> Who knew? You were going to say that. That was the first thing I thought of. But. <laughs> I never thought of SPD until now. Like, that's probably the beautiful part of all of this. Um, I don't know. I just feel so... I feel so honored to have been a part of the original series that I've never allowed myself to think about anything else. Like I always feel like, man, I got the golden ticket, you know, and I I wasn't just a part of the show. I got to do the movie and it's just been a blessing on blessing. You know, it's like, I feel like it just never has stopped. Um, But no, I would, obviously I'm considering SPD. I I'm really close with the cast of time force, but I'm also close with the beast morpher guys. Like, I mean, I could be, I could be in all these things. I could be, like their mom or something. <laughs> Let's go. They're, I could be auntie. Right? I mean, like yes, auntie Karen yes. is here. You hear that, Hasbro? You hear that? We got they Uncle need Jack an auntie, and Auntie Karen. Right? They yeah. need an auntie. That was one of the things. Like I was like, where is Bulk and Skull? Like they could have been running the juice bar, or like I was like yes, wanting yes, yes. all these moments. But I'm I'm so happy with what we got, you know. And I, I'm so when I heard. Uh, Barbara Goodson's voice as Ro- Robo Rita. I just like got chills. Like I was like, "Oh my God, she's back!" You know. So no, I feel so. I feel like it was perfect. But yeah, I could be Auntie on the next season. <laughs> yes, I love it. I don't want to be anybody's mom. I just want to be the fun aunt. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I like to come in, have fun, and get to leave. Yeah, <laughs> Aisha's not anybody's mama. <laughs> nice. Oh my god! Uh, Retro, you got a question? Yeah. So the question I had is, okay, we're gonna, uh, we haven't gotten there yet, but I just got to bring it up. You have some cool swag for your con that y'all promoting. Yeah. Uh, for fans who have not seen it, you got to see the swag that you can get if you go to the convention. Like yes. the coin, the coin that you have made is beautiful. Oh, yes. I can announce this. I can announce this. We actually, because the coin was so popular, um, we did a collectible coin and it's kind of a throwback to the movie. And um, so we did a collectible coin and, and obviously we did it for our VIPs and we were like, okay, you can pick a pin or a coin. And people were like, oh my God. So we've done another, we're going to do a second coin. Um, this coin, obviously the one that we have now is going to go to the vips but we did order more it's going to be a copper version of that coin and it's going to be the second run so it won't be the first exclusive but it'll be a second run and we're going to have that up on the website very soon so that people can start pre-ordering those because we were like when we realized people really loved it, um, and I have to shout out uh, Henshin Vault. He, he oh, designed he's it. Oh, he's beautiful with his work. He's amazing, right? JC's amazing. Um, and so we've been wanting to work with him. I work with him all the time. Like, he he designs things exclusively for my booth. But we hadn't done anything for Ranger Stop and Pop. And so I was like, dude, what are we going to do it? And so we finally figured it out. We got it together. And, uh, yeah, he did an amazing job. So um, Henshin Vault did our coin. And then um, Nero, the hero, did our collectible pin. And we actually did an exclusive with Boom. And it was um, Aaron Bartling, Bartling, I believe that's his name. I just literally talked to him yesterday. Um, He did the cover for our Boom exclusive. It's so beautiful. And we had told him, and it was weird. We kind of, they were like, what what are you guys thinking? And we just, you just throw some ideas out there. And there's like 10 artists and one of them picks it up and one of them does it. And we just knew we wanted to do something to celebrate Jason and to celebrate 30 years of Power Rangers. And and when we saw this cover, we were like, that's it. That's it. You know, that's, that's the cover the one. when they're putting the, the Yeah, helmet. when okay, they're okay. putting the helmet on. Or they're taking, I don't know if they're putting it on or taking it off, but either okay. way, it's just beautiful. So you can actually pre-order that on our website, which is ranger, um, rangerstopatlanta.com. We have them for sale. We ordered plenty so you guys can get some and we give those. It's an exclusive for our VIPs. Um, but yeah, but it's funny because Aaron... Uh, we just figured out he's coming to Ranger Stop and he's going to be there autographing copies of the of the comic. And he made one post and like it <laughs> blew up. Like it was like we were like, why are we getting all these orders for comic books? It just out of nowhere, we were getting a flood of orders and it was because of his post. But yeah, it's so amazing. So, so yeah, that's our that's our website. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a friend of the channel, uh, Josh's Collections. Uh, yes. He asked a question. We'll get to his question in a second, but he actually donated us uh, four uh, tickets to uh, Ranger Stop all weekend yeah. passes, and we gave them away 
I think two streams ago. So yeah. we've been promoting Ranger Stop here on the channel for about a month <sighs> right now. Um, Thank you. Oh, no. I, I wish I could go. I have a very yeah, strict same here. rule this year at Retro Raid Nose. Yeah. I'm staying local this year because I just had a baby. But, oh, congratulations. Uh, thank you. Thank you. But uh, because I made that rule, I'm missing a lot of stuff this year. But you it's, know what, it's okay. <laughs> Next year, you Next guys, year. you got free passes on me. If you guys decide <laughs> awesome. to come, just oh, figure it God. out and you guys are in. And if you want to give away some tickets, feel free to give away some tickets here on the show um, tonight or for the rest of the week and just send me the names. I'll give away 10 10 weekend passes. You Amazing. guys can give them to whomever you want. Amazing. Yes. Let's and go. you just send me a list. Yeah, you just send me a list of names and we'll make that happen. Okay, so I'm going to be messaging you on remember the legacy of nerd on Instagram. <laughs> yes. Please approve this little popper over here. Yes, of course. <laughs> uh, so we got an awesome lineup this year at Ranger Stop. Uh, from the movie, we got RJ Kyler, we got David Yost, Walter Jones, Paul Freeman, Barbara Goods. I mean, amazing, amazing yeah. Steve Cardenas. We got Catherine, of course, and we got Nakia, of course, who are mm -hmm. our uh, Catherine's the owner of the con as well, right? Me and Nakia, it's actually and me, Nakia, Nakia and okay, Mike. Who okay. owns Ranger Stop Orlando? We are okay. the three partners. But Catherine, people think she's a, a an owner because she's such a close friend. Like she's literally yeah. the resident cheerleader. She's coming <laughs> to Ranger Stop every year of her life if she wants to. <laughs> we got a lot of friends up here at the Legacy of Nerd. We actually got to well, who let's see on this list who we've interviewed. Uh we're we want to interview Walter Jones. That'll happen someday. Uh yeah. we got Karen, we got Nakia, we got Jazz, we got Hector. All friends of the Legacy of Nerd. We got I Sky Frank. It. I think she's making her con debut here as well. Con debut, yes. Brad Hawkins, uh, Dwayne Cram David Fielding, who is a friend of the channel as well. I, I mean, it. we got a lot. And then you have anime guests as well. We do. Yeah, we're not just a, um, we, that's why we call it Ranger Stop and Pop, because we have pop culture guests as well as anime. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we've got people from Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball Z. We've got people, oh. you know, Giovanni Samuels, who was on Nickelodeon, like she was huge. And Sean Weiss, who was on Mighty Ducks. I mean, we're just mm -hmm. doing all kinds of stuff. And now we've got some wonderful cosplayers, too. So that's awesome. Yeah. Maybe next year I can say the legacy of nerds. Exactly. No, we will. You guys are definitely welcome to the show. I we honestly we'd love to have you. And we we set it up so that there's a media room and so that everybody can get their interviews and everybody oh, can talk wow. to everyone. Jeez. And we make sure that every guest comes through the media room so that you actually get to interview everybody. Um, it's easier uh, that way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the kid the do. asked me too. She was like, do you want to go? I was like, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but you got an adult. You're a dad. And I, I respect that. And I always tell people Ranger Stop and Pop will be there. We're already setting up dates for next year. So, awesome. you know, yeah. That's so at the Sheraton Hotel. And let us know yes. ASAP because I'm a wedding DJ and I book about two, three years out. Yes, so I know. <laughs> so I know in June is a big month yeah. for weddings. So it's like, I'm like, during your Super Bowl, we're having a con. <laughs> so I do want to get to Josh's season. questions here because he did help us with Ranger Stop quite a bit. Uh, he's putting, just posting a question, out of the 30 years of Power Rangers history, what are some of your favorite moments? Uh, you know what? I just love the fact that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what season you're from. When we're at a con and we're at a con together, it's instantly like, okay, when are we having dinner? When are we having a drink? Are we like, it's instantly family. And I always feel like if you were the spandex, if you were on the show, we're, it's nothing but love. And that, I mean, I know there've been like a lot of moments that we've had, you know, on the show, off the show, but to me, it's the family that we've gotten from this. I mean, I literally have family from every season. I practically, I think there's only a handful of people I don't know. And it's so weird because even the ones I don't know, the minute we see each other, they're like, oh my God. And I'm like, oh my God. And we, it's just nothing but love. And I literally have a hundred brothers and sisters <laughs> that awesome. I consider yeah. family. Yeah. And I mean, some of us are, are are, are super close because we go to cons together and and we make jokes like we literally spend more time together than we do with our own families um but it's it's just amazing we've traveled the world together we've we've had so much fun and we've and now we get to see all of you like all of you were babies when we were on the show and so now when we meet you when you look at us and we look at you we can see it in your eyes you become five years old again but 
we actually can talk to you and you guys, we, we hear about the show and, and we relive it through your eyes. And, and I always credit the fans when I left the show, it wasn't on a, a good situation. And so I was like, not happy about it. And I left and didn't want to think about it. And then I started doing cons and I fell back in love with what I did. I realized I was like, I can't let any one person steal the, the magic we created. And, and the magic, you know, is because of you guys, you guys, you know, gave me that back. So I'm always appreciative to the fans because I mean, you're the reason it's 30 years, you know, you guys keep yeah. watching. <laughs> so we got a question from Nathan E here yes. and he's asking if you could be in a cast in any show or T or movie, what would you want to be on the most? Oh man. That changes for me all the time. Cause like, it's literally <laughs> like what I'm, what, what I'm hot, watching. Sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> I would like when scandal was on, I was like, please God, please. <laughs> Shonda Rhimes is like, make her think of me. Like, I don't know, make her kids like Power Rangers. And then she goes, Where is that girl? I don't know. Um, I would say uh Bridgerton. Ooh, oh, I, I nice. knew you were gonna yeah. say I was gonna ask that too. Yeah, <laughs> I would say, Bridgerton yeah. as yeah, a queen. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I would want to be on that or I'd want to be like on uh Wednesday. Like <laughs> one of those two, I think I'd be great. <laughs> that is awesome. That'd be awesome. Dan, do you got another question? <laughs> Um, I no. can say, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, Hey, whenever you get the opportunity, you got to take the mic for a second. Okay. You can't, right. you can't give it back. Um, okay. You were in power Rangers for a while. And like you said, it kind of ended on kind of a bad note. Don't really want to talk about that, but like, what was your biggest challenge or obstacle you kind of had to overcome in your career and how did you overcome that? You know, it's just a matter of, uh, and, and all actors go through it at some point. You know, you work for a company and you realize you're just, um, well, there, we were just an action figure. Like, we were just a 30-minute commercial to sell more toys. And, you know, but what I learned is you have to stand up for yourself and you've got to stand up for what you believe. And, um, and I always did. And I, I've always held my he head up high. And I feel like that is kind of what propelled me into this business. And I've been able to be in this business for 30 years. And I've been able to build a Comic Con business and, and be able to, you know, because not everybody gets to go and do the shows. And, and I know there's a hundred of us. So it's not like the cons can invite everybody. But we've worked really hard. Um, as a cast to like really lay the foundation and really go to shows. And I, I was like, we were laughing about it. We used to go to shows and we were happy if, you know, if, if 20 people came and talked to us and now we go to shows and you know, it, there's a line or there's yeah. like, we're there all weekend. We can be work. We can be busy four days and, and nonstop busy. And so that wasn't always the case. So um, we worked really hard to get to that point, but no, I just, I feel like, um, I learned that you got to know your worth, you know, and yeah, I, yeah. I think I talked about that even mm -hmm. when I was on the show last time. I was like, you got to ask for what you want because you might just get it. <laughs> they yeah. might just say yes. And you got it. But you got to be OK with if they say, OK, well, sorry, you got to be OK with that. And you got to just, you know, I was very prepared to not be a part of it, but I fought for it. And I said, look, I don't understand how. I, I don't understand how I wouldn't be there. I just don't understand this. Like, how is, you know, um, the Yellow Ranger not going to, you know, the person that took her place not going to celebrate her? I just want to yeah. celebrate her. And and luckily, a female producer was like, I get that. I get that. And she was like, I'm so proud of you for saying that. I don't know anybody else who would have said it. So, yeah. you know, Are you, are you yeah. talking about the handoff moment? The handoff um, moment? Yeah, yeah. Well, just <laughs> it, it, just that, and just even be on the show. Like, I don't, I don't think they really had originally were going to even have that moment on the show. It was just me and Johnny came in for two seconds, and that would be that. Yeah. And we, we, I kind of fought for it, and and we kind of said, look, we would rather be a part of it a little bit more. And so yeah. we were able to get a little bit more. We wanted even more, but it, I think what it was, was perfect for what this show was. And so, um, but yeah, I always, I always encourage people, you got to ask for what you want. You got to, that's the only way, like you only live once you got to do it, just ask for it. And, and a lot of times you'll get a lot of no's, 
But when you get that yes, it feels so good. So true, so true. So good. I just need to make a comment. Dan, you had nothing ready and that's what you came up with. Like <laughs> so, off the top of my head. Was was it was that Jeez, bad? Was man. it good? He's I mean, a genius? I was just so into like the last question. Sometimes and like like she was talking about, like, I feel like I'm five again. I'm like zoning out. Like, like someone pitched me and they're like, yo, do you got a question? Like, I can come up with a question. Wait, two seconds, okay? Right. Hey, and, 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 and that was awesome because, you know, I, I I try to come up with something that's a little different because I bet you get asked the same questions yeah. all of the time. So and all even, the time. you didn't even have to really answer that as just, you know, an actor. But, you know, in life, sometimes there's going to be up and downs. And it's always just yeah. nice to hear from your childhood heroes what they did. Even though, you know, you play a fictional character, we still looked up to you guys, no matter yeah. what. You know, So it's kind of cool to think about. Totally. Retro. I was just basically, uh, hopefully next year, um, this year was a little too late, but I was going to be working with Karen since I've worked with Alamo City and coming up with cool exclusive covers for the comics. Yeah. Hopefully next year with the artists that I know that me and Karen will probably, I'll probably hopefully help the convention next year. Yeah, we love aspect. that. We, so. I mean, honestly, we're, like I said, it's, it's me, Nikki and Mikey, and we've got a team that we've been working with out of Orlando. And now we have members that are um, a part of our team that are in, you know, um, Atlanta, you know, and I was like, we're doing a show in Atlanta. We got to build our home base. Um, but yeah, it's really, we're still like a very family friendly yeah. kind of setup, you know, and, and, and that's been the, the one thing that has really helped us grow this show is that we've worked with our friends that we met at cons and our friends who've worked with, I worked at cons and, and everybody just comes in and we just give it our best. And, and, and we, we really are planning a really fun weekend this, this next couple weeks. And um, we just want people to come and feel like, like whatever's happening in your life, you forget about it for those three yeah, days exactly. and you just have so much fun. And that carries you through whatever it is you're going through, you know, and um, I think it's going to be amazing, you know, and we actually will be announcing. I'll give you a, a, a sneak peek. We're announcing tomorrow. We're actually going to have a, a celebration of life on Sunday morning for Jason and um, Sky will be performing and we're going to have different cast members, you know, just tell fun stories about him. Like, I, I feel like, you know, we've had a lot of fans and it's obviously the tragedy hit us all. And yeah. but now it's we got to every time I saw Jason, he was standing on a chair and he was like, it's Morphin time. He had the fans going crazy. So I was like, guys, we can't be sad anymore. We got to yeah. be happy and we got to yeah. celebrate him. And we had him. You know, we had him for 30 years, so that is a blessing. Um, and he, his legacy, if, if you ever want to do anything in life, you want to leave your mark, and he left his mark. So now we just got to just love him and love on his daughter and love on his other daughter and just all his kids, you know, just um, take care of them and, and, and have them have some fun. That's so. amazing. I, w yeah. I really wish I could go. I went to More Phenomenal here this year. I got to talk to a lot of the yeah. Rangers here. And I actually got to talk to Jenna Frank and uh, yeah. we had some uh, good things to talk about. But so I want to talk about Ranger Stop a little bit because you guys yes. are not only doing, it's not obviously meeting your Ranger friends, but you guys are having a lip sync battle I saw. You guys are having <laughs> concerts. You guys, yes. do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, like, it's it, obviously when you go to con, there's, you know, you meet, uh, you go buy stuff from vendors, you meet artists, you, you know, you shop, you get autographs, you do, you do your photo ops, you do these panels, you do all the normal stuff. Um, but at night, we actually have a ton of events and all of our events are hosted by Rangers this year. Um, we have a lip sync battle that is being hosted by um, uh, one of our beast morphers. Um, we have a, like, I'm trying to think of all the stuff. Abraham uh, the Rodriguez is doing yes, that. Abraham is hosting that. I was like about to say Rory, but I was like, no, Rory's hosting the cosplay contest. <laughs> so Rory's hosting the cosplay contest. Um, I'm hosting the VIP. Nakia is hosting the after party. So it's just a bunch of fun stuff. And, and every day we're, we're going to just have fun. And it's morning, noon, and night. And it's June 16th through the 18th. Um, we're sold out of vendor space, but we do have a couple of artist tables. So if you want to come sign up quick, they're going really fast. But we have Pose as our professional photo ops team. And it's just fun. And again, we got a lot of really cool guests coming. If so, you like Power Rangers and you like anime, this is the place for you. I have a request for next year. Yes. Uh, Becky G, please. 
Yeah. <laughs> yes. I try to we try to get her this year. Like uh, we were we were scouring the the world, so we'll keep scouring. Trust me, we've we've won all the people you want. So oh, we amazing. we just gotta catch them when they're ready to do a con. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. No, I did have one question. It's kind of out yes. of out of uh, context for what we've been talking about, but I've always been really confused on the the timeline of you got hired to do Power Rangers. Mm-hmm. And then I always hear you got whisked away immediately to do the movie. Did yeah. you guys like sign and literally go to do the movie or did you do a couple episodes first and then go do the movie? We had one month and it was like six weeks, but we had a month to shoot um, 20 episodes. And oh. so we literally, it was like six days a week. <laughs> you can't go home. Like my sister got married. I couldn't even go to her wedding in Vegas. Like it was just, oh, yeah. yeah, we had one month to shoot 20 episodes and we were whisked off to um, to to do the movie. And the movie was supposed to take three months and ended up taking six months. So oh, wow. then we started shooting some episodes while we were there. So it was just crazy. Like I always say Power Rangers was probably like the craziest, you know, it was like a year and a half of my life. And it was just nonstop. Um, insane. Like I might have had a month off collectively that whole year and a half. Um, yeah. So, so they were saying that they were saying, cause we talked to Rob, the guy who mm-hmm. created the suits for the movie. Mm-hmm. And he was saying, basically there, you were going from set from filming the yep. show, going straight <laughs> at night to try the suits on yeah. and then go back <laughs> the next day to film again. Yeah. And we would like, I think it would be like, like a couple of times we had to stand there for like six hours and they literally oh. had to cut the suit, place the muscles. They were like creating these muscles to fit exactly on your arms. Yeah. And, and we had to like, yeah, but we would be working. Like we were working trying to get these 20 episodes shot. And if you got off like at three o'clock, they were like, go. And I forget, I think it was like a 30 minute drive, but we would go oh. and we'd have to get the fittings. Um, we'd have to get the fittings done because we were prepping for the movie. Um, he, he said he was really frustrated because he tries to make his suits as comfortable as he can. He said like mm-hmm. the fabric that they gave him to use was crap. Yeah. And he said he would have never used that. He felt never. bad for you guys. But he, <laughs> what he was most upset about what they didn't give him time or preparation for was that you had all the dreads. Yeah, they did. Yeah, because we they hadn't figured out my hair, and I had asked them, "Can I get braids?" And they were like, "Yeah, sure." And but nobody told them. So I literally got a face like like they they molded my head for the cat for the the helmet, and then I show up with all this hair, and they were like, "Wait!" And so literally, my helmet was always this wide, like it could not shut. It was. And he said he could have designed it better for you, so you could have. Yeah. And he was just like, he was upset. He was saying that. He wanted to go to Australia mm-hmm. so he could modify things if he need to. Yeah. And they wouldn't they wouldn't pay for the they tickets. Wouldn't. Yeah, go. It, was, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. No, they they literally it was so fast. And and you're right. Like that material was like a vinyl. Like yeah. no one should be in vinyl. And it was crazy because um Peta Marie, who played uh, Alpha Five in the movie, sh- the first day on set, she was wearing her suit and her body couldn't breathe properly. And by the end of the day, she was in the hospital for like three days because oh, her man. body went into shock because oh, it couldn't God. sweat properly. And so at that point, they were like, oh, my God. So then none of us could wear the suits longer than 15, 20 minutes. And they had all these fans and they literally hired people and we would be in the suit and then we'd go and take the top part off. And then we were standing in front of the fan, but someone stood there and held the suit, <laughs> you know, until they got ready for the next shot. But it was like, we, it was a lesson learned, but it was, yeah, yeah it was, it was so, it was the, the death trap. <laughs> They looked amazing, right? Yeah, but they look cool, it though. was not practical. Like I think they really they they were supposed to come from the movie. Those suits were supposed to go to season three, and they realized those suits couldn't go to season three. It wasn't yeah. practical. Oh man. Well, I mean, now they get the technology they can use with Under Armour material. They can recreate yeah. it maybe better and yeah. maybe bring them back. That would be great. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, you see, like on those Marvel movie, how they just like they're you know, they do all the green screen and stuff. And yeah, so yeah, I mean, I think, I think what they, I still think our movie suits were the coolest. I felt like Batman. Like I was like, oh my God. Like we really felt like we'd arrived at that moment, but he it was, was saying not like, practical. Um, 
Amy Jo Johnson walked in and she couldn't move and she was like, I yeah. hate this. But Steve walked in and he's like, I'm a superhero. And he started like flexing and Amy got all mad and like walked on. Uh, it was, yeah, it was, but you know what's, what was sad? In Amy's defense, they, when they saw us in the suits, they were like, oh gosh, they look like like football players like we looked really bulky oh, so okay. someone was yeah. like let's put a corset on the back of this so not only was it like 25 to 30 pounds there was a corset on the back of mine and amy's oh so God. yeah Man. steve could move around but we were like our bra- our backs were breaking <laughs> oh my gosh Man. and it was a third of our our weight like we both were like about 100 105 pounds and the suit yeah. weighed 30 pounds so oh, we were like guys what is this <laughs> retro ray yeah. You got anything? Because I got one. No, more. that was it. That was the only thing okay. I had about the about the suits. Because I mean, like I said, yeah, the movie and stuff, that was cool. Getting to talk about that and um talking about how those were the best suits of the show. But yeah, definitely, guys, you want to go to that convention. It's gonna be fun. I don't want to miss Thank that. you. Yes, you gotta go. And and like I said, this is a yearly show and we're just getting started. So Ooh. hopefully one day we can get Atlanta to a place and then we can add another city. That's oh. the goal. And, you know, we've always we've always talked about where the next, you know, next one could be. But we would have an Atlanta show. San Antonio. <laughs> we'd have an Atlanta show. We'd have an Orlando show. Come to the show. Midwest. <laughs> yes. It, exactly. Like we've been getting requests. Yeah. There was there's a couple of people. So we'll see. We're hopefully one day we'll be able to add a, a another show. My last question, if you would. Yes. I would love to hear your pitch for SPA. SPA. Well, like I said, it is. You know, uh, it, it's kind of a twist. Like, I feel like it's Guardians of the Galaxy meets Power Rangers with a little touch of Star Trek. Like, mm. I think if oh. we could, you know, uh, Johnny and I would be the leaders and we would be teaching the Space Patrol Alpha crew. So this would give us an opportunity to have a lot of ex-Power Rangers who are now in the Space Patrol. And... I think episode one, something happens and we got to save the planet. We got to save the earth, you know? So it's, it's just going to happen. <laughs> That's awesome. And then but I can, I can see Aaron Cahill there. I could see, you know, somebody potentially from SPD that would later take over. Um, well, I guess it couldn't be SPD because that's in the future, right? So I could see some of the old yeah. cast members from Time Force, from uh, Dino Fury, from, uh, yeah. you know, Beast Morphers. We could have some more OGs from, you know, Turbo or, Ooh. you know, I think if you mixed it up and there was, you know, a kind of a space academy and, you know, that's how the Space Patrol starts. Awesome. Nice. Which leads to SPD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get uh, Brandon back because that dude is doing yes! every show in the world, apparently. Uh, every no. time I turn on the TV, Brandon's right there. Just I love him. <laughs> and you know what? I'll like comment on his stuff on Instagram. Like, oh my God, congratulations. And every time he'll be like, thanks. Like, he's just an amazing person. And he's, he's so worthy of all the success, man. I, I love seeing it. He's, it's crazy. I'll see him be like a, a mid life dad and then i'll go over he's a drug dealer yeah and I'm like, <laughs> i love it and, and i believe every single character right That's awesome. he's so talented so talented all right Jan. and i think in sva bulk and skull would finally they would finally find out about the power rangers and become part of the team did you read david yost's script or so far i haven't no no oh, but i've heard okay. about it i've heard about it has he okay. has he's released some of it right so you he's guys released- can see it I think okay. one and two, Dan. I don't know if you. It's, I don't think he's done three yet. I don't okay. know. Yeah, I think he's just done like the first parts. Yeah. Yeah, but he I has bulk and Skull being like bulk is uh, mayor now, and oh, nice. no, Skull is mayor. Skull is mayor, and bulk yep. is uh, chief of police or uh, I love captain. It. <laughs> I love it, and I think that would be like a great like they should. You know, Evolve, I want them to yeah. save the world at some point. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Dan, any last thoughts for tonight? No, I just want to thank you for your time. This has been magical. I know I've stumbled on my words a couple of times just because I'm just so happy to be here. But thank you for popping in. Oh, I love it. I love it. No, you guys are awesome. I, I, When Ray said, can you come back? I was like, absolutely. I know last time I wasn't able to stay as long because I had another thing. So I wanted to make sure I was home. I wasn't in my car and we could have a proper interview this time. <laughs> nice. Thank, thank you. you. Retro? 
No, I just want to thank you for taking the time. I appreciate it. You know, you coming on our show and, you know, giving the time to, to share with the fans, you know, like thank I said, you, you know, without you, we wouldn't have this joy to look forward to do power, you know, power Ranger con power Ranger comics, the shows. That's what keeps a lot of us going. I love that. I love that. I'm, I love knowing that it's become that for you guys. Cause you know, life is life will start life in. And I keep telling people, man, Power Rangers makes you feel good. You got to watch it. You got to go back to watching it if you're not already. And so I love that the show has been all of that for you guys. I love Thank that. Thank you. And Wanda, before she leaves, she wants to say, hopefully one day I can meet Karen. Me too, yes. Wanda. I would love to meet Karen in person. <laughs> yes, yes. I know. I got to figure out how to get to San Antonio. I don't know. Ever since I, I'm like, I don't know if there's any other cons that are popping through there, but we got to, I got to make, I got to come back through there. I loved when I'd go to Alamo City. That was such a fun show. And our next one, they is, were so uh, good. I was like, I love any show. You show up to the hotel and there's like a beer waiting for you in the lobby. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. I know they uh, knew we, how to do it. Texas we, knows how to do it. <laughs> me and Retro are going to be working at, or not working, but covering, officially covering a superhero Comic Con and car show that I is coming love up. That. Uh, those guests are going to be Ray, you're going to help me, Andrew Garfield, Bree Larson, yeah. Kit Harrington, <sighs> Amelia Clark. Uh, oh, those are huge. Haley Steinfeld, uh, MJF, the AEW world champion, Rikishi. Uh, there's, wow. there's probably another one that's really, really Oscar nominated in there, but I can't think of right now. So, um, again, with Countdown City Geeks, myself, me and Ray are part of that. If you are thinking about going to a con this year for Marvel, uh, we're having Avenger Con here in San Antonio. So make sure to look that up. Of course, Karen so is dope. going to have Ranger Stop. Uh, June, oh my God, I keep messing up. June 16th <laughs> through the 18th okay. at the Sheridan Atlanta Hotel, which is now becoming the Wyndham Courtyard, Cortland. Mm -hmm. You know, the name is changing, but yes, the Sheridan Atlanta, <laughs> everyone down. knows where it's at. It's right in the heart of downtown Atlanta and just come and have fun. They're going to have Karen, and obviously, you, Nakia. Yes. They're going to have Steve Cardenas, David Yost. Walter Jones, uh, most of the Beast Morpher cast. Sierra, Hannah, we have Christina, we've got, um, gosh, Ray. there's so many. Yeah. Go to the website, rangerstopatlanta.com. Check out the guests. Check out the exclusives if you want to order something, if you can't make it. We even have autographs you can buy on there from the guests Ooh. that if you can't make it. Um, or just buy your tickets and come and hang with us. Yeah. <laughs> but you can win a ticket here on this show. They have 10 to give. So between now and the 16th, they're going to give me the names. <laughs> right. And then, guys, uh, make sure you are watching once and always. We'll keep it on repeat so we get yes. that SPA series that Karen wants to do. So <laughs> or we get more money morphin. <laughs> or we get more money morphin. We get more, we get more. We get more. How about yes. that? Yes. A uh, little bit of housekeeping for me, guys. Uh, I am going to announce uh, if you were on the last stream, you know, but now you will know. On uh, Monday, June 5th, here on this channel, we are going to have Melissa Flores. She is the current comic Yay! book writer of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for Boom my Studios. My friend, Melissa. He's your friend? Yes. Yeah, she's oh a my very God. good friend of mine. We had dinner like a month or two ago. She's amazing. Awesome, awesome writer. Love, it. love her work. Yeah. She's phenomenal. We need to talk yes. about that in the back real quick. Yes. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you guys, everyone, for coming on. Thank you, Karen, for being here. I appreciate you. Uh, it was an amazing time. Thank you for doing the part two. Uh, thank you for giving us a little bit of scoop from the last scoop where we had for eight yeah. seconds, but it was okay. It was not your fault whatsoever. It was Netflix being Right. Weird. No, it was my fault because I didn't read my email. I was like, oh, yeah, no. it's coming out in two days. No, and it was then Netflix. It was like, oh. No. We, 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 we had a thing. We'll me and Ted them. are convinced that Netflix has a thing against us because we would find out something for Netflix and we'd make the announcement and then Netflix would be like, oh, we're just going to change it. They so, like, it. Right. They were like, Karen <laughs> said it. We're now we, we're now we're we're just going to release it today. <laughs> That's probably that's probably what they were gonna be they were watching, man. They were like they were nah, watching. we're doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to thank everybody for coming through. You guys were awesome. Uh Wanda, uh Mega Demon Collects, Ranger Restoration Repair. Uh Nathan was in here. We got David's life, we got Daniel Ramona, uh, we got Dion Keen, we got Andrew Lubar, uh London Green Ranger, uh LeBron Fett, astronaut ranger saying some of my best friends in here. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you guys tonight. And you guys know what time it is. It's more from time. time. <laughs>